on Mariners franchise mode as you see here on our American League wild card standings Mariners are five under 500 and we have lost three straight in a sweep at home against the Minnesota Twins as you saw on Twitch for those of you who go to Twitch I am at the real SLP lost in a shutout and then losing six to four and then five to four both of them in extra innings last game both of them in the 12th so Mariners need to get a win and try to get a good start to the week of May closing out May in this uh, franchise got two games against the Padres and then the other two on the road and this is our only time this year that we will have the Padres another interleague matchup we lost two out of three in our last interleague matchup against the Reds hoping we can have better success this time we got James Seals going up against Nate Carnes and for some reason I thought Paxson was getting to start but off stream we picked up 10 Lincecum free agent and former uh, well, I want to say former but a great standout playing baseball uh, in Washington I believe for Gonzaga but uh, he is now with the Seattle Mariners hometown hero I'm only having him be a long reliever at the moment but hopefully by the next start uh, we'll be able to get him involved I decided to keep him on the relieving in just for again one game and then perhaps perhaps uh, putting him in the lineup over Carnes so we'll see how it goes Mariners trying to get a win Padres in the NL West aren't doing too bad either they are five under they're on a two game losing streak they recently lost two out of three to the Arizona Diamondbacks um, so we'll see how that goes more that uh, more of the behind the news stuff coming up in the game but other than that let's go game one of two I will be only doing two games of the home series against the Padres and I'll save the road games for possibly tomorrow on Twitch. We will see. Clear skies, keep that open. Whoops. I guess Paxton is okay to play. I guess I'll, I'll start. Uh, I don't want to start Carnes. I want to start Paxton. There we go. Gutierrez to tell Martin needs a day off. Cabrera will sub in. And Gutierrez will take the day off. Seth Smith will take his place. Mineta did okay. Clevenger. I'll keep uh, Clevenger in the lineup. Let's go to work. Mariners trying to end a three-game home losing streak. Thompson Seattle now up to third in batting average. And good afternoon, everybody. My name is SLP. Welcome to some Mariner franchise mode for today's game. Mariners and the San Diego Padres for the first of only a two-game homestand. As you'll see, James Paxson get the call to start next. And look at Paxson's numbers, 3-3 three three record, his ERA 4.03, his 10th start of the year, 41 strikeouts, 17 walks, and 54 hits allowed in 51 and a third. Leading off, team leader in RBIs, Alexei Ramirez, leading the Padres at 25. Lefty against righty in this opening matchup. Strike one to start for Pax. Mariners will have another afternoon game tomorrow. They've done pretty well in afternoon games. That hit ball hit off the leg. And a long throw out of play. That will move the run to the second. Wild pitch. 
on that second pitch. Looked like uh, Paxton hurt his leg and then threw that ball away. Fortunate it didn't go long. And as we look at Will Myers against lefty pitchers, not too bad, 4-11. So they get a single and an error on Paxton. So Ramirez advances to second. Strike one for Paxton. The 0-1. Nope. Change up outside for a ball. Let's get to the umpires. Larry Buller doing the home plate officiating. Kinsley, Simmons, and Johnson around the plate. 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. 1-2 one, two for Myers. Fouled away inside breaking ball. Myers had an opportunity yesterday to climb closer in the AL West division. Unable to do it in a three-game series. 2-2 two, two count. Fastball popped up deep left field. Aoki near the warning track and makes the catch. Runner will hold it. Second. One down. Let's get to you the lineup for the Padres. Matt Kemp next up. Brett Walls DHing. Salarte, Norris Spengelberg, John Jay, and Melvin Upton Jr. Running the ninth slot, Matt Kemp. Batting 247. With one down in the inning, good fastball for strike one. Seattle trying to end a three game losing streak. Padre trying to end a two game losing streak. So somebody at the end of this game will get some confidence rolling into this series. Nope. Fastball up high for a ball, too. Kemp 2 1. Swing and a miss. Good change up at 87. 2 2. Swing and a miss. Two down in the half inning. First strikeout for Paxton in the game. Let's get to you the defensive lineups for the Mariners. Lind, Cano, Cabrera playing in at shortstop. Kyle Seeger at third. Clevenger behind the plate. Smith, Martin, and Aoki. In the outfield, no Gutierrez tonight as he is on a rest. Brett Wallace leading the Padres and home runs with 11. Next man up with two down, one man on base. Ball in that air. This is a ground ball for Adam Lind. And that will do it for the inning. As the Mariners give up an error and a hit, but no run scored for the Padres. We go to the bottom half of the first. Welcome back, James C. Shields. 3-3 three three record, ERA 4.97, 46 Ks to 22 walks in 54 and a third innings. 63 hits allowed against him, his 11th start of the year. Leading off, Leonis Martin leading the Mariners in stolen bases. He didn't have a lot of base steals in the last series. And a fastball to start for ball one in the last series against the Twins. So we will see Tim Lincecum signed a two-year deal worth $7.4 million with a player option after the second year. 1-1. Right. And Martin, long shot to left, and this one will be caught. One down. Let's get to you the Mariners starting lineups for the front nine. Kyle Seeger, Nelson Cruz, DHing, Adam Lind, Cano, Smith, Clevenger, Aoki, and Calbuera making a start at the ninth slot. Kyle Seeger third in the American League with 15 home runs. One down. Outside for a ball one. Padres lost two of three. Fastball fouled away one and one to the Diamondbacks. Hmm. One one. 
Change up foul on the inside corner for Kyle Seeger. One and two now. One two for Kyle Seeger. Cutter fouled away. Kyle Seeger behind Cruz in the second slot in home runs and the team. Team leader though at 38 RBI, so that's number it's top five in the American League. Two and two for Kyle Seeger. Seeger, long shot to right center field. This one is through the gap, and it's gone. Solo home run for Kyle Seeger. That ties him with Nelson Cruz with his 16th home run. His RBI up to 39. And the Mariners with a 1-0 lead right out of the book. It looked like that ball was going to trail infield, but it had enough carry to go out. And Seeger, the team leading tying 16th home run with Cruz on a 2-2 pitch. With one down, this one was lined out. Right center. Nelson Cruz, we see his numbers on the road. Better productivity than he has had at home. And the Mariners with one down. Shields continuing to pitch, swing and a miss for Nelson Cruz. Yo one. Ground ball to left, foul 0 and 2. Cruz into an early hole. Cruz the 0 2. Fastball outside for a ball 1. And one of the rare times I've seen the Mariners, mainly for me playing, to be patient at the plate. Back to back balls on the outside. 2 and 2. Two and two for Nelson Cruz. Breaking ball fouled. By the way, we didn't ever get to Shields' uh, lineup of his pitches. You see him? He's got a knuckle curve. Two and two for Shields. And struck him out. Two down. Would have been a full count for Cruz nonetheless. Let's get to you the defensive lineups for the Padres on the screen. Will Myers at first. Bangalbert at second base. Alexi Ramirez at short. Sarlarte at third, Derek Norris behind the plate, Kemp, Melvin Upton Jr., and John Jay. In the outfield, and they receive Adam Lind with 16 home runs himself. Now into a three-way tie, Lind launches one into right field, and this one is caught at the warning track by Kemp, and that will do it for the inning. But Kyle Seeger starting to get the blast going for the Mariners. A long shot to right for a Mariners 1-0 lead. We go to the second. Second inning beginning. Salarte, last seven games, was batting 6 for 27, 222 during that span as he leads off. Top of the second against James Paxton, who pitched 14 in that first inning. Paxton the 1-0. Ground ball to short. Kyle Seeger fires it. One out. As he took that away from Calbera. Look at the AL West standings thus far. Mariners are a game back behind the Halos. Derek Norris, next man up. Four home runs, 15 ribbies. One down in the second. Change up out for ball one. 1-0. One -oh. Ground ball for Cano. Two outs. Corey Spengelberg, next man aboard. Two down. In the second, fastball outside for a ball one. One and zero. Change up two and zero outside. The two L with two down. Long shot to right. Smith back at the warning track and makes the out. Nicely done by Smith at right. We go to the bottom of the second. Cano, Smith, and Clevenger do up for the Mariners. One nothing lead. 
Welcome back to Mariners Baseball in the franchise. Says Cano, not doing well in his last eight games, six for 31 overall. Still batting slightly above 290 for the year as Shields back on the pitch. He gave up that home run to Kyle Seeger. Padres are not a home run hitting ball club changed up outside for a ball. They are fourth worst in the majors in home runs. They have 43. Mariners nearly doubling that total with 81. And Cano with a base hit to single. Or a center field rather gets himself a 2-0 count single. Good start for the Mariners. That's hit number 57, the team leader. As that one, that ball nearly hit Shields in the face. Good presence of the mic to get that out of the way. As Smith, next man up. Scoring four runs in his last eight. Knuckle curve in there for strike one. Smith with a home run will put him at 100 for the season. Oh, one upcoming. And Smith, a ground ball. This will be a 4 6 3. That ball over the head. And the runner will hold it first and second. Boy, both throws not in time, so two man on. Now will be an error at best for the Padres as Smith will reach to first. I thought that throw to Cano was in time, but obviously not. First error for the Padres. Next man aboard is Clevenger with Cano at second and Smith at first. Fastball on the outside for ball one. Bottom second. one nothing Seattle lead. And Shields with nobody out. Advantage for the Mariners at the moment. Knuckle curve hung up. Clevenger, long shot, right field. Kemp is out of room, and this ball is gone. A three-run home run for Clevenger. Mariners on track. Big time in this game today. Mariners lead 4-0. Second home run this afternoon for Seattle. That's now... The 83rd home run for the Mariners all season. Fifth for Clevenger. And his RBI total now up to 10. 370 feet. As this one hit well on a 1-0 pitch. Nobody out. That was a high fly ball. And it got enough to sail out over the head of Kemp. Three runs in the second. Aoki can add on to it. Six on the team in doubles. Aoki fouls this one away. To start the at-bat. Four-nothing Mariners. But in recent games, if you've seen on the streams, fouled away 0-2. Mariners have blown leads. I remember watching the video on YouTube that the Mariners blew a 12 as a strike three on Aoki one down. Mariners blew a 12 run lead against the Indians back in 2001. Everett Cabrera next man up. In place for Catal Marte who had a long game during the last two games. Ground out for two outs. Now, so Larte the Myers on the 5 3 ground out. Next man up, Leonis Martin today is 0 for 1. Mariners three hits on four runs. Fastball for strike one, caught the line of the zone. The 0 1. Change up outside for a ball. The 1-1. One, one. That one tipped and playable. Martin will get to first on a single. That hit looked like a bunt as well, but Martin will take it as it stayed fair in the line. 
Kyle Seeger had a solo home run back in the first and if the Mariners can hit the long ball look out Kyle Seeger looking to go two for two he was struggling against the twins in the series just had nothing going his way Martin heads back to first two outs Shields the 1-0 for Kyle Seeger. Fastball fouled inside. Late swing for Kyle. He had one of those in the game with Martin at first. Looking to pitch out. Seeger knocked it out. Swing underneath. Strike two. One and two for Kyle Seeger. Two down, one two from Seals to Seeger. Knuckle curve base hit to right center. Martins coming around for three. Seeger going for two. And they will let Martin run at home. The play at the plate is not in time. He is safe. An RBI double for Kyle Seeger. Two RBIs this afternoon. Mariners increase their lead. Five to nothing. Nelson. Nelson Cruz next man up with two down. And for Seeger, that is double number 14 of the year with two down. Ball outside. 5 0 Mariners lead. And Seeger now with 40 ribbies this season. 2-0 count for Cruz with two down. Bottom of the second. Seeger at second. 2-0. Knuckle curve breaking ball out in the dirt. Adam Lind on deck waiting. Something we haven't seen from the Mariners since early in the year. Where they were 11-1 and they hit the long ball. What they're doing right now. Ball four. Cruz earns a free pass to first base team leader in walks with his 15th. Adam Lynn, next man up. Roger Godfrey in the bullpen warming up. Adam Lynn flied out to right last at bat with two down. And this one left center field and this one is caught by Upton and that will do it. But Clevenger with a three run blast to put the Mariners up at that point, 4 nothing. They lead 5 nothing to the third. Everybody grabbing their fruits and foods in Safeco. As we welcome you back, I'm SLP. We go to the top of the third. John Jay leading off. Leading As Paxton, the pretty good. Two innings with 21. That's out for ball one. And this should be advantage for Paxton now because he should be Rested. He should be confident with the pitches his way. And I have to be reckless with it. Fouled away. Mariners four runs in the second. Bunt taken for strike one. Yeah, Shea doesn't have average speed. One two count. Breaking ball. Strike three called. Second strikeout for Paxton. One down in the third. Next man up, Melvin Upton Jr. batting well on the road. Melvin Upton Jr. Formerly known as BJ Upton. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Good fastball. 96. Packs in the 0-2 pitch. Strike three, caught looking on the backwards K. Third K for Paxton, two down. Good cut fastball for Pax on the slow mo cam. Great rotation, late swing from Upton. And he paid the price for it. And great connection with Clevenger. Well, he didn't swing it. Well, <laughs> he should have. Because that was dead right in the middle. As Ramirez with the base hit. Last at bat with two down. 
one of the few bright spots for the Padres this afternoon. One and zero. Change up in the zone for strike one. One one. Popped up and out of play. One two for Ramirez. Outside. There we go. Now I can see my stream on YouTube. On the mobile, that is. 2-2 two, two count. Outside. Caden, I am playing on... Oh, oops. Sorry. I had my volume meter up on mobile. What game are you on? I'm on MLB 16 to show, Caden, and on the PS4. And ball four, and Ramirez will get a free pass to first base. Will Meyer is 0 for 1 in the game today. Flight out in the first. Two down in the inning. Breaking ball, it's in for strike one. The 0 1. Ground ball foul to right. 0 and 2. Mariners have had issues in games. No, it does not matter the inning. With an 0 2 count and two down. The 0 2 for Will Myers. Change up, up high for a ball. Mariners 5 0 lead. Myers the 1 2. 2 and 2. Paxton just trying to get this inning done here. Runner will advance. Strike 3 anyway. Fourth K for Paxton as we go to the bottom of the third. And the Mariners with a comfortable 5 0 lead in Seattle. Cano with a base hit single and a run today. Leading off bottom of the third as Shields continuing to pitch and is getting roughed up in the early going of the first two games. Cano, long shot, left center field. This one is gone. No, it's off the wall. This one will be in play. Looked like that had a chance to get out considering how much the long balls have worked for the Mariners. Off the wall for Cano for a double. He'll take it. On the first pitch, swing two. As he hooked that knuckle curve in there. Smith 0 for 1 today. 10th double for Cano. That was a changeup he threw. At 84 dead in the middle. Swing and a miss for Smith up high. Mariner six hits on five runs. Been able to take advantage with runners in scoring position. 0-1-1. Fastball fouled inside. 1 2. Oh, 1 2. Cutter strike three called. One out. Clevenger a three run blast in that second. Part of a four run inning. One out. Fastball for strike one. Manager had his fifth blast of the year. Another double digit member of the Mariners with RBIs up to 10 or more. One out. Knuckle curve outside. Aoki follows Clevenger in the lineup. 1-1 one, one with one out. Cano at second. The pitch. And this one, late swing, left fouled. Came, under, came inside with that cut fastball. One and two with one out. And strike three, caught looking, goes Clevenger. Two down. Back-to-back -back K's for Shields in the inning. Aoki, next man up with two down. 
As Canelo been waiting at second for a long time. Yeah, he struck out last time at bat. This one will stay fair for a base hit. Cano will stay at third. First hit for Aoki this afternoon. With two down. Single for Aoki. And Shields getting roughed up. Calbera is 0 for 1. And Shields has given up seven hits on five runs and an error. Calbera grounded out on a 5 3. Last time out, ground ball, and the throw to first, and that'll do it. And as we go to the fourth, Mariners with a 5 nothing lead. Leading off Matt Kemp this afternoon, 0 for 1, struck out in the first against Paxton. And a strike to start the inning for Paxton. 40 pitches, efficient game through three. Breaking ball, strike two. Yo, two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Another K ringed up for Paxton, one out here in the fourth. Now batting, designated hitter, Brett Wallace. Brett Wallace, next man aboard. Change up outside for a ball one. Grounded out in the first at Wallace DHing today. The 1 0. Cutter outside. 2 0 pitch with one out. Fouled away. Trenton Scott, yes, I am on the PS4. 2 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Of course, MLB The Show is only exclusive to the PlayStation. 2-2 two -two count with one down. Fouled away. That was dangerous for Paxton. That might have been a base hit. Wallace D, 2-2 two -two with one down. Check swing, strike three for Paxton. Two down. Up next for the Padres. Third baseman. There's the check swing. Got enough motion on the bat. <laughs> As Solarte, next man up. Breaking ball outside corner. For Solarte. 1 0. Grounded out in the second. 1 0. 2 0 outside. Of course, if there's any other further questions of. Anything, go ahead and drop it in the comments during the stream. 3-0, Derek Norris on deck waiting as Paxton is in danger of giving up a walk. 3-0. Ball four, another walk by Pax. Salarte to first. Free pass. Norris grounded out in the second. Derek. Swing and a miss outside. The 0 1 pitch. Breaking ball, strike two at 84. Norris thought he got that one. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Strike out again as Pax retires. In the inning, we go to the bottom of the fourth. 5 nothing Mariners. Hey, TOSFG, welcome. <laughs> As Leonis Martin, 1 for 2 in the game this afternoon. Leonis Martin. And Martin, right field, that's a base hit. Throw not in time, obviously. Two hit game for Leonis Martin this afternoon. As that one got through a gap in the right field. Appreciate you guys coming into the stream. As next man up, Kyle Seeger, who is two for two, had a solo home run and a double. His third at bat already in the fourth inning. Four seamer strike one. 
And the shield's been roughed up. Eight hits on five runs and an error. Martin hits back to first. I want one for Kyle Seeger. Outside. I want two. Swung and missed badly. One fastball. Inside. And one outside. 0 2 for Kyle Seeger. Broken bat, blooping in for an out. Nicely done by the third baseman, Solarte. One out. Nelson Cruz, next man to board, 0 for 1 today. Mariners trying to end their three game losing streak. They have a 5 0 cushion at the moment and a foul. Looked to be a changeup. It was a cutter. He threw that one in the middle of the zone. Martin at first with one out. Another pitch out outside for a ball. Martin has 10 stolen bases this year. That's the team leader of the Mariners. One and one. Another pitch out. Two and one outside. Cruz what walked last time out. Struck out in the first. Two and one for Shields. Ground ball. Base hit. And Martin will stay at second. Cruz with his first hit of the afternoon. One for two with a walk. As that one got through the gap against Salarte and she had to pick it up. And now we'll do it for James Shields as his afternoon will come to an end. As the Padres have seen enough. As we are going to look at Roger Godfrey making his eighth pitch relieving one and one record. Not doing great against lefty batters. Give it up 357. 13 innings pitched and 6 Ks. Adam Lind 0 for 2 in the game today. Brandon Maurer in the bullpen warming up. With one down. And Lind a ground ball. 6 4. Turnaround throw. Nice play by Ramirez. And that will do it as we go to the sixth. Mariners with a 5 0 lead. Or fourth. Fourth inning complete to the fifth. 5 0 Mariners. Corey Spangleberg leading off top of the fifth Pitting against James Paxton. And his Paxton's look good. 55 pitches Spangler. through four. And starts off with a strike. The 0 1. Bunt. Like play. Seager to Lynn for the out. This light tap on the bat got enough to keep it infield. As John J. O. for one. In the game, struck out in the third as Pax has looked good. Four scoreless innings. And a fastball again to start for a strike one. 0 1. Strike two against John Jay. 85 on the changeup. The 0 2 pitch. Ground ball for Cano. Two down. Upton, next man up. Upton 0 for 1. Junior. This one hit well. Fastball, left field. Aoki near the warning track, and he's out of room. Melvin Upton Jr., a long shot to left, and breaks the shutout for the Padres. It is now a 5 1 Mariners lead. Fourth home run for Upton Jr. And his 14th run batted in. 374 feet. First pitch, two outs. Fastball. Got enough carry on this one. As he was struck out and knew he had to get a fastball to the part. And it did that time. Ramirez, next man up with two down. Top of the fifth inning. Strike one. 
The O one outside. Paxson the O the one one fouled back. Two down. Top of the fifth inning. One two again. This is launched into right, and Smith makes the catch, and the inning will come to an end. Bottom half of the fifth coming up as Upton Jr. knocks in his first home run of the game for the Padres. 5-1 Seattle lead. Robinson Cano with a single and a double as he is leading off here. Bottom of the fifth, Quackenbush warming up. And to start, a ground out on the first pitch for Cano. Two for three game. That's Ramirez to Myers on the 6-3 ground out. Smith is over 2 today. Reached on an error back in the second as well. And Smith, long shot to left field. This one has some carry. And this one is caught by Jay. Nicely done. That one looked like it was going to sail out in front of the wall, but... Jay made use of it to make the catch. Clevenger, next man up, struck out looking in the third. Before that, had a three-run home run. And lined left, fouled. No fastball in the arsenal. Broken bat, blooped. Fired to first, and that'll do it. As Clevenger grams out, one, two, three, inning for the Padres. To the sixth inning we go officially. And the Mariners with a 5-1 lead. Myers 0 for 2 this afternoon. As Paxton looking to go for a sixth inning set here as he gets the first strike. Ground ball, Cano backhands it to Lynn, one out. Now batting, right fielder. Look at Pax's numbers for the game. That one earned last inning, seven strikeouts, two walks. Matt Kemp 0 for 2 today, two Ks. One out. And that fastball again, strike one. Kemp on the 0-1. Ground ball this time. Calbera. And Lynn stepped out of the bag and now will be an error. Yeah, that was a good throw by Calbera. That forced Lynn to step out of the bag. That was a good throw, but no. <laughs> Second error on the Mariners as Kemp reaches first. Now Brett Walsh will take a turn. 1-0. 2-0 outside for Paxton. Two zero. Breaking ball. Strike one. 72 pitches for Paxton in the game. 2-1. Swing and a miss. Strike two. One out. 2-2. Two -two. Popped up to right. Coming in is Smith. Two down. Solarte walked in the fourth. 0 for 1 in the game today. Kemp at first. Ground ball right to Lind. And the inning will come to an end for the Padres offense. Mariners. Back up at the plate with a 5-1 lead. Bottom of the six coming up next. Leading off Nori Aoki. One for two today. Singled back Leading in the third. The as he leads off against Godfrey. Ground ball up the middle. That is a base hit for Aoki. Two hit afternoon on the first pitch. As that one slipped away. Spangleberg. Everett Cabrera, two ground outs today. Eight hits overall this year. Signed a 
one year, less than three million dollar deal. This is a ground ball. Tossed to second in time. Six four three double play. Two down. Three ground outs for Calberry. Not been the best outing for him. Martin, however, has looked good. Two singles. Two for three game. And Godfrey on this pitch popped up. Foul territory. And this one is foul. Near play for Salarte to make the catch. The 0 1. Ground ball caught by Myers and beats Martin to the bag. Two for four game for Martin. Go to the seventh inning stretch here in Seattle. Mariners with a 5 1 lead. Welcome back. Game summary through the first six innings on the Mariners franchise. Mariners, Paxton doing good. Six inning, seven Ks, two walks, and earned. Seeger with a two RBI game, a home run, and a double. Melvin Upton Jr. with a home run and an RBI. One for two game. Derek Norris leading off. One for two. The catcher, number three, Derek Norris. Breaking ball to start. Fouled. 0 for 2, excuse me. 0 for 2 for Derek Norris. Change up in the dirt for ball 1. Outside, 2 and 1. Aaron's trying to end a 3 game losing streak. Breaking ball outside, Spangle, Spangenberg on deck, 3 1. For Norris, Paxton ready to deliver the pitch. Ball four, and Norris will get a free pass to first. Third walk by Paxton. Spangenberg, an 0 for 2 game. Breaking the ball outside. Mariners 5 1 lead. They have had issues when trying to hold leads with their pitching and relieving. This one, a great catch. Fire it to first, it's not in time. Good catch by Lind. Spangenberg gets to first, and that will be a base hit. John Jay, 0 for 2, two man on. And to the bullpen. We will warm up Tim Lincecum, who will be relieving. Strike one for Paxton. 83 pitches in the game. He's going for a seventh inning push. 2-0. Oh, or excuse me, 1-1 one one with nobody out. Mariners need an out of some kind just to get out of a hole right now. Outside for a ball. Melvin Upton Jr. will follow John Jay. 3-1. Who had a home run last time out. 3-1. Full count. The count is full. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch. Ground ball. Base hit. Base is loaded for the first time today for the Padres. Melvin Upton Jr. We talked about a home run back in the fifth. Can give Jr. the Padres a bit of running room here. Try to make a comeback. Mariners need to play of a strikeout and then a double play. 0-1 for Upton. Ground ball. This will be an out. And the RBI will score for Upton on the ground out. It's now 5-2 Mariners. Second RBI for Upton this afternoon. His 15th of the year. Ramirez, next man up. Ball one, no strike. 1 0. Outside. Will Myers, next man up. Breaking ball in for strike, number one. 
two one in for strike two two and two Ramirez now the two two with one out popped up left field Aoki makes the catch runner tags the throw at home is not gonna get there as the ball sailed away it is now a 5-3 Mariners lead sack fly for the Padres Will Myers 0 for 3 two runs in the seventh for San Diego strike one Runs left on base. Mariners had six. Padres have four. The 0 1. Strike two. Will Myers, the 0 2. Outside for a ball. <laughs> Boom Gums the Dynamite. If I get a home run, I'll probably do that call. 1-2 pitch. Foul away. Mariners have had problems, like I said, in recent games. If you've seen it on Twitch.tv, Mariners have blown leads when they went up four runs. 1-2 for Myers. Breaking ball. Fouled away. Once it come, may come in in the eighth. We will see. 1-2. This one is going to do it for the inning. Aoki. Makes the catch near the warning track at left, and that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional go to the bottom of the seventh. Mariners with a 5 3 lead. Leading off, Kyle Seeger, who had a big time home run for the Mariners earlier in the ball game. In the first, went solo. And then Clemens had a three run blast in the following inning. He also had a double two for three afternoon for Kyle Seeger. Trying to get out of a trying to get out of a funk. As we're gonna see. Let's come get ready to go for the eighth inning and possibly the ninth at this rate. Steve Shishek and Joaquin Benoit are fatigued. As Pax did a great job, seven innings. Three earned, four hits allowed. And he also had three or four walks as well. Let's we'll look at that stat later in the game. One two for Kyle Seeger. The splitter fouled away. For Godfrey's lineup of his pitching again, cutter, splitter, and the changeup. No fastball. Changeup foul would have been a ball two. Godfrey the one two ground ball up the middle base hit for Kyle Seeger three hit game on a one two pitch 11th hit for the Mariners this afternoon Cruz is one for two this afternoon singled back in the fourth defense shifting into the double play formation and this will not need a double play. Pop up on the first pitch for Cruz. Myers makes the catch for an out. Godfrey's last start. Pitch two and the third allowed an earned run and a hit against the Diamondbacks. Adam Lind 0 for 3 today. Hit list afternoon, but can rectify that with an insurance run here in the seventh. Padres two runs in the seventh to close the gap a little bit. Cutter outside for ball one. One zero count. Ground ball. This will be a four six turnaround throw and a three for the double play, and that will do it. On to the eighth inning we go. Mariners with a five three lead. Tim Lincecum, former Gonzaga standout, turning to his home in Washington, spent a long career with the Giants, 31 years old, getting his first relieving duty of the year. 
acquired from free agency for a two-year deal. Former Cy Young winner. But Lance Nelson told us he's only going to be relieving for at least a game, maybe two. Good breaking ball for strike one. And you see at the right side of your screen, four-seamer, two-seamer, slider, changeup. Slider outside for a ball, two. Two and one for Lincecum. That's Kemp. Tip this one. And the throw, no throw made. That was a poor decision on my part. No green light to throw, because I probably would have known Kemp would hit the first. So that will be a base hit. Brett Wallace today, 0 for 3. So Lincecum gives up his first hit. Relieving. Strike one for Lincecum. 5-3 Mariners lead. And San Diego has scored three unanswered. 1-1. One, one. Good change up at 81. 1-2 one, for Lincecum. Fastball fouled away. And he can tie the game up with a blast. 1-2. Ground ball. Throw to first will be in time. Wallace can't believe it. One out though. That was a tough catch by Calbrera. Had to gather himself. Salarte is 0 for 2 today. Walk in the fourth. This is tipped. Playable. And a catch botched. Oh no. Another error on the Mariners. Holy cow. That yeah, looked to be the second out. Let's we'll see if that will bite the Mariners in this inning. Now Salarte takes strike two. The 0-2 pitch. Fastball fouled away for Lincecum. Outside, two-seamer. Kemp at second, the 1-2, fouled away. This is kind of desperation time for the Mariners. They need someone like Lincecum to get quality pitches. There's a swing and a miss. Two gone. Runner advances to third is Kemp. Claridge had that catch last time out. That was a wild pitch as well. Doesn't matter. As Norris, next man aboard. He was over two, walk and a run in the game. Strike one. 0 oh, 1. Slider outside for a ball. Two down, 1 1 pitch. Caught the zone line, rule the ball two. 2 1 for Norris. Foul the right field. Craig, if you're still on, normally I would reserve Boom Goes Dynamite for the home team because I'm with the Mariners. Now, if it would have been for a playoff series, then of course I'd like to be unbiased. 2 2. Long shot. Left field. Aoki back. And can't get there. He's out of room. Two run, home run. And we are tied at five as Norris belts one out. Fifth home run of the year for Norris. And his 17th run batted in this year. Fastball middle of the zone. And Norris finally gets out of the snide to get at least the pitch that he can be happy with. <laughs> and got out before Aoki had even a chance to get the catch. And we are tied at five just like that. Mariners. Now Second baseman. We'll now have to go back Second to square one. Spangenberg one for three game. Two and zero outside. One thing you need to do now with two down in the eighth is get an out 
And get back on offense, but John Jay up on deck, 3-0. Strike one inside. And this will come 24 pitches in this inning. 3-1. Ball four. Spangenberg going to first, a free pass. And now pinch running will be Alexei Amista. Amarista. Try and get that name right. <laughs> first time this year we've seen these two teams meet up as John Jay, next man aboard. Strike one. Breaking pitch on a 0 1 fouled. And let's see if Lincecum can put this one away here. The 0 2. Breaking ball popped up left field. Aoki will track the out, and the inning will come to an end. Padres. From Norris with a big two-run home run to tie it up at five to the bottom of the eighth we go. Your attention, this change defensively for the Padres. Amarista playing in at second base for the Padres. Robinson Cano, two for three game, a single and a double. Thank you, Craig. As we begin with Cano with a strike one, bottom of the eighth inning. Two for three game. Change up for strike two. Both of them in the zone line. Godfrey the 0-2. Strike three. Cano is out. One down. Smith is 0 for three this afternoon. Outside. That's something giving up two earned in the eighth, and we are tied at five. Mariners have had problems where they give up runs with four or more, and this one's no different. Left field, two down on the flyout. Up next for Seattle. Clever tried a three run bomb back in the second. Two down. And a ball outside. One zero. -oh. Ooh, splitter in the zone, but ruled ball. Two and zero. Oh. A huge bailout for Clevenger. That would have been a strike. Two zero. -oh. Ground ball. Myers to first, and that will do it. We go to the top of the ninth. San Diego. Looking for their first lead of the game. Tie game at five. Melvin Upton Jr. had a solo blast back in the fifth, which broke the shutout hole. And the Padres have scored five unanswered in the game. Mariners trying to prevent extra innings for the third consecutive ball game. They lost in the 12th both times against the Twins. Breaking ball fouled in the left. One and two. Let's come the one two. Got him looking on the backwards K. Strike three on Upton. One down in the ninth. Alexi Ramirez with an RBI single this afternoon. As I said, the Padres are not a terrific home run hitting team, but they have made it happen in this game. 0-2, foul back. Ramirez, the 0-2. And that's a base hit to right center. Martin will come out and stop that. Two hit afternoon for Ramirez. Into the game, Will Myers over four today. Fly out in the seventh with one out. Change up outside for a ball one. Good fastball, strike one. 
One one for Will Myers. Slider caught the zone in for strike two. One two for Will Myers. Tipped. The throw got it in. Two down. Boy, that yellow indicator. Most times that would get the get the first baseman off the base, but that time he stayed in. Matt Kemp one for four today. Lucky animation break for the Mariners. Two down in the ninth. Kemp takes strike one. The 0-1 breaking ball outside. That's Kemp. 1-1 one, one from Lincecum. 1-2. One Another terrific ball game here in Safeco Field. Mariners trying to close this one out though. With a win. They have lost three in a row. All of them here at home against the Twins. And now the 2-2. Full count. Brett Wallace up on deck. And this is the problem for the Mariners. Haven't been able to close out games with three twos and two downs. And he got him out. Huge strike yet for the former Giant as we go to the bottom of the ninth. Can the Mariners walk it off? Welcome back, Nori Aoki, two for three. Fernando Rodney, the former Mariner, warming up in the bullpen as Aoki has two singles in a game. Two for three ball game. Aoki bloops this one left field, and John Jay makes the catch for the out. Mariners this year in extra innings, they have not done great. I'll be honest, they are horrible. They are two and seven in extra innings. Padres three for three and five in extra innings. They've won more and lost them less games. Well, outside. Martin will follow Cabrera in the lineup. Fouled away. One and one. Yes, Scott Frey remaining on the mound to pitch, relieving. Splitter strike two, 88. One two with one out. Ground ball to first. Nice catch by Myers and the flip to the pitcher in time for the out. Two down. Nice recovery by Myers to grab that ball and throw it to his left to get the out. To Godfrey, another look at it. Terrific awareness. And then, the, and then the toss, nicely done. Martin is two for four with both singles. This one, left field base hit. Two out single for Martin, a three hit afternoon. Game continues. Kyle Seeger, next man up, who had a home run earlier in the game. Three for four game with a double. In the second, had a home run to start the game in the first. And Godfrey will not walk Seeger. He'll take a chance. Oh, strike one outside the strike zone. Got him on that changeup at 87. The 0-1. Seeger right center field. And this one is caught. And we are going to extra innings for the third consecutive game. San Diego has scored five unanswered to the 10th we go. Leading off, Rhett Wallace today 0 for 4. He hasn't done anything all game, but in extra innings, that could change. As that's out for a ball one at this rate now. James Paxton, who pitched seven strong innings, will not get the decision. Change up, caught outside for 2-0. So that means it's going to be up to the bullpen yet again to help bail out the Mariners, as we've seen. In past streams, they haven't done a good job. 
Mutsukum continuing to pitch 2-1. Breaking ball foul 2-2. Two two. Two, two. Swing and a miss. Strike 3. One out in the 10th. Wallace a hitless afternoon 0 for 5. Came back with that 2 seamer. Let's look at the show tracker. One outside, a couple inside. That one swung and missed for a foul. And that two-seamer got him on the fifth pitch. And Salarte, next man aboard with one out in the top of the tenth. One out. Yes, Tim Lutzakum trying to make a Mariners escape with the win. Keep in mind, there's one game left of, at home. Before the Mariners head to San Diego, that's a base hit up the middle on a one-out play. All right to Martin. Slarte a base hit single with one down. And next up is Derek Norris, who had a big time home run to tie it up. Strike one for Lincecum. Hits Mariners 12 to 8 advantage. Plus four. The 0 one Hit well through the gap. Left center field. Martin makes the catch. Two down. Now Soarte heads back to first. Amarista making his first at bat of the game. Came into pinch run. Didn't do a whole lot. Change up outside for ball one. Mariners, like I said, don't have a lot of guys working in the bullpen. Furbush did horrible in the last game. So, Joel Peralta and Evan Scribner both warming up for the Mariners in the bullpen. Mariners need to walk off a huge victory. 2-0 with two down. 3-0, not what the Mariners needed to do. John Jay on deck. The 3-0 in for strike one. And the rest has pretty good speed. Runner at first. And ball four. Amaresta gets a free pass to first base yet again from the Mariners. Jay is one for four today. Single back in the seventh. Two down. Hit well, right center field. Smith is back. And he makes the catch. Tenth inning complete. We go to the bottom half of the tenth. Mariners can win the ball game. Tie game at five. Bottom tenth, Nelson Cruz, one for three today. Singled in the fourth. Can he win it for the Mariners? Singled back in the fourth, which seemed a long time ago at this rate. And a ball to start for Godfrey, who continues to pitch very well in the game. 1-0. Cutter on the inside for strike one. No fastball, once again. 1-1. One one. Cano, or excuse me, Cruz pops one up to third. Coming in, Sarlarte. And he makes the catch. One out. Adam Lind, 0 for 4 today, hasn't done anything but can be a hero here. Splitter down low for ball one. He's been involved in two double plays, both in the fourth and seventh. 2 0 outside, Cutter. Godfrey, the 2 0. Ground ball foul to right. Two one. Lynn left center base hit. Lynn coming around for two, and he will stay at base for second base for two. Nice double for Adam Lynn. That is double number seventeen of the season. A one out double, and he's in scoring position. 
Milt and Robinson Cano next man up with one out takes ball one 12 home runs 27 RBIs 1-0 fouled away single and a double second and third innings respectively since it's been kept quiet splitter outside the zone called strike mm. umpire showing no respect for Cano ground ball that's fair base hit Cano will stay at first Lynn will go for home the throw at the plate not in time and the Mariners hang on to win Six to five, they walk it off. Adam Lind, the game winning RBI single. Cano, the winning run. Or excuse me, Cano, the winning hit. And Lind, the winning run. As that one got fair ahead of Myers. That one, a terrific play. Lind scores. Mariners win. As they dodge yet another bullet. They needed this win in extra to really get their confidence rolling. They are now 3-7 and seven in extra innings. Padres are 3-6. and six. Big time victory. Kyle Seager had a big home run early in the game. And he's getting doubts by his teammates. With a huge win for the Mariners. As Cano the walk off single. And the RBI to... Win it for Seattle, as at that point, Mariners had given up five unanswered to the Padres. And there's still game two of this on YouTube coming up shortly. But in broadcasting, I would say game two of the final game of the homestand ends tomorrow afternoon. Thank you, Craig. We got him as Cruz went three for, excuse me, Seager went three for five, and the Mariners hang on to win despite three errors, 14 hits, and six runs. The Mariners win it six to five. I am SLP. Thank you for a great afternoon. We will catch you tomorrow. Have a great dime, everyone. And Lincecum will get his first win of the year as a Mariner, relieving. Godfrey will take the loss. Seeger and Cano both with three hit games. And Cano had that game winning walk off to pull it out. And I'm going to do one quick highlight. Try to get a good screen capture. A reminder that for YouTube. Will be available at the King Street Station. Okay to just yeah, I had Cano in there. Yep, that game-winning RBI single did it for the Mariners, and I'm happy. We finally got a walk-off victory. Mariners have had problems lately uh, trying to make it happen. But give credit, Linsica making his first debut. Can't go wrong with that. Try to get up to Cano's face a little bit, and then we'll get ready for the game. And there's the thumbnail. All right. And we are ready to go for our final game on YouTube. For the afternoon, that is. And then we'll call it a day, because I have obligations this evening. Much needed win for the Mariners. Felix Hernandez getting the call against Andrew Kashner. Welcome everyone. Let's just and let's look at the wild card standings. Yeah, not much has changed other than we are currently tied a little bit games behind with the Yankees in that. Um, and who else has won? The White Sox are back up in their winning ways at 500. All right, guys, before I continue, I have to do my traditional notes. And then uh, 
we will continue on. So bear with me for about a couple minutes and then we will get going for the game too. And for the first time, I believe Mariners have finally won an interleague game against an opponent. Whoops. Try to get the calendars. Duh. Always love to have the calendars ready. Let me know if you have any sports questions or anything, guys, and I will gladly answer it. It's like you're being a part of my radio show that I will be rebooting up this summer so eventually in due time I'm hoping to uh, follow footsteps of professional announcers three in a row now on a losing streak for the Padres they're trying to get a good clean sweep at home at least for a two games set then we have Texas and then the tribe I will not be playing I'm gonna sim um, the Texas Cleveland series and the Texas series and just head to the Tampa Bay Rays because um, we need to get some wins um, I'd be shocked if we uh, lost all those games <laughs> I love the Mariners they're my Northwest team you cannot go wrong with that and then we'll get that for the wild card and then we'll head to the NL West Andre have lost three in a row. And to their wild card. One, two, three. Still currently the sixth worst team in the majors. Okay, I need to get my statistics. And you see the team leaders. Cruz, Seeger, and Lind all have 16 home runs. That is impressive. And Seeger, the team leader in RBI. Let's look at his numbers as well. Lind, number one team in doubles. I cannot believe once this finished exporting, I'm going to have to look back and see what mistakes I did. Again, it, I, I tend to think this is more than just practice. I tend to think I really want to do this as a professional. That's what I want to do later on. Even though baseball is really slow like golf sometimes to some, I can take it. Just have to get accustomed to it. I do have NBA 2K16, FIFA, all of my, uh, my art, my array of games I'm hoping to do later. Especially this summer. So, we'll make it happen. Okay. That's all I need to do for that. Alright. Felix Hernandez going up against Andrew Kashner. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, yeah. The league leaders. Let me go to that and then we'll start it up. There we go. Adam Lynn now tying with Miguel Cabrera in home runs with 16 and Cruz not behind as well as Lynn and Encarnacion. League leader with 17. Kyle Seeger is fifth as I would expect in RBIs. All right. Game number two. Final game on YouTube today. Padres and Mariners and for this one I am going to go with the old throwbacks do we have any throw throwbacks yeah we do there we go and we'll go over here Oh, I don't want to do road. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. Throwback old as the pilots. 
Yeah, let's do that. Gotta at least boost this once a game. Afternoon overcast. And Felix Hernandez will get the start. How are my relievers? Ryan Cook obviously needs a break. Steve Cichek will not be playing again, which is fine. Nori Aoki to the bench. Smith will get another call. And we're ready to go. And the Padres are third in stolen bases. That's good. Mariners third worst. All right. And welcome to Safeco Field. Dome closing in here. Forgot to keep that close, but that's okay. Mariners and Padres. Final game of this little two-game homestand for the Mariners next. Felix Hernandez making his 11th start of the year. 3-2 and two record. His year rate at 4.55. 63 and a third inning, 16 walks, 62 hits allowed, and 74 strikeouts. Leading off will be John Jay from the Padres in a retro game this afternoon. And to start off, a first pitch foul as Kings Court in the yellow, as you see there. Ready to go for Hernandez, trying to get the King a decision and a victory. 1-1. One, one. This one is fouled away. As the Mariners are 23 and 27 this year, four below 500. Padres six under 500 at 23 and 29. One two pitch. Check swing strike three called for Felix Hernandez. One out. His first K of the afternoon. Let's get to you the Padres lineup. Myers follows Jay Brett Walls at the DH spot third. Matt Kemp at cleanup. Salarte, Ramirez, Spangenberg, Norris, and Upton. As Will Myers, next man aboard, doing well against the lefty pitchers. Struggled a bit last night, last time out. Against the lefty in Paxton. Got a no decision yesterday. The 0-1. Change up for Hernandez. 1-1. One and one. Will Myers has not done great in his career against Hernandez. Outside for a ball 2. 2-1. Two and one. That's in good sweeping curve for Hernandez. Ever since he sported that blonde look, I'm not a big fan of it. This one popped up. Left center field. And making the catch is Smith at left field one out, or two down rather, as Aoki has the day off. Let's get to you the Mariners lineup defensively. Lynn Cano, Marte making his first start of the series. Kyle Seeger, Clevenger behind the plate. Gutierrez, Martin, and Smith in the outfield. Smith played right field yesterday. Gutierrez had the day off. Rick Wallace, next man up, leading the Padres with 11 home runs. And Calvara took the place of Marte, who didn't play, was tired, fouled away. Two down, 0-1, one. One, 2 Two down, the 0-2. Popped up, left field, Smith back. And makes the third out for the Mariners defense. Offense up at the plate. Half any complete in Seattle. We are scoreless. Andrew Kashner, his 11th start of the year, 4 3 record, ERA 4.26, 54 Ks, 22 walks allowed, 55 hits allowed in 61 in the third innings. Just leading off, Leonis Martin. Nine stolen bases this year. I might have said 10 in the last game but trying to get in double figures as this one is a pop up to third one down yeah Sarte making the catch let's look at the Mariners lineup 
Kyle Seeger, Nelson Cruz, DHing Adam Lynn cleaning up the bats. Cano, Gutierrez, Clevenger, Smith, and Marte. Kyle Seeger, second in the American League in home runs, fifth in the league, American League in RBIs with 40. He has had eight RBIs in his last five games, which has been impressive. Trying to get that batting average back up once again. Kastner. Ooh. Seager will take that ball. <laughs> that fastball caught inside, but most times that would be a strike. 2-0. and And that fastball fouled away. I think there was no question that was going to be a strike. 2-1 and one for Kyle Seager. Fastball fouled away. Kastner bringing back it up to an even count. Two seamer fouled away. Two and two. Fastball fouled away. One out. Two two. Tipped fouled. Seager again, the 2-2. Outside, full count. Nelson Cruz on deck. Payoff pitch. This one off the leg. Kashner recovers it and gets out. What a shot. Comeback right to the upper thigh of Kashner. Norris comes out to check on him to make sure he's okay. So he took a shot right to the leg. And he will stay on. Nelson Cruz, next man up. With two down in the inning. 16 home runs, 33 ribbies. Fastball outside for a ball. One and oh. Tipped. Norris will field it. Fire it. And the out made by Myers. And that will do it. One, two, three in the inning. Go to the second. No score. Matt Kent leading off. Top of the second Diego inning. Right yes, yeah, so this will be the last time the Mariners have to face the Padres here at home. Long shot to right field. Coming in is Gutierrez. And he makes the catch. One out. Kemp struggling a little bit in the series as Yanjiris Solarte, next man aboard, the third baseman for San Diego. Good sinker for strike one. We're going to try to win back to back games. 0 and 1. And try to close out May strong. I think at the end of the game, we'll get to see the month of May uh, statistics. Outside for a ball. Two and one. Salarte, the two one. Long shot left field. Smith near the warning track cannot get there, and it hits off the scoreboard. And the Padres get on the scoreboard for the first time with a one nothing lead. Sixth home run for Solarte and his RBI total now up to 19. 372 feet to left. Another home run given up against Felix Hernandez. Not been a good year early on. I'm gonna no doubt, of course, it stayed fair and it hit off the, the scoreboard. Ramirez, next man aboard. Batting six. Shortstop. Alexi Ramirez. Outside for a ball one. 1-0 one for Felix Hernandez. This one fouled away. With one down. 
Ground ball for Cano. Backhand. And two outs. Corey Spangenberg, next man aboard with two down. Mariners had an early 5 nothing lead. Or pretty close to it. And then the Padres scored five unanswered. To make a bit of a rally here. This one. Nice backhanded catch by Smith as it lined out right to him. But Padres get the last lap to the bottom of the second. one nothing lead San Diego. Adam Lynn leading off bottom of the second. Leading off for the Mariners. First baseman. And Kastner back on the pitch. And a ball outside to start. And look at the pitching arsenal. Slider changeup and the four seam, two seam fastball. 1 0. Lind left side. Base hit. Got through the gap nicely. Lind looking for a double. And he will get there easily for extra base. 1 0 pitch. Adam Lind with a double. That is his 18th of the season. Let's see the list of them. Seager with 14. Gutierrez with 13. Cano with 10. Cano. Next man up. Batting 301. Starting to come alive with the batting. Nobody out. Cano fouled in the right. Kastner, the 0-1. And Cano, again, this one on the left foul. O2 for Robinson Cano. Strike three, one out. Let's get to you the Padres defensive lineups right on the screen. Meyer, Spangenberg, Ramirez, Salarte. And Noah's infield, Kemp, Melvin Upton Jr., and John Jay outfield. Gutierrez, ninth in the American League at 308 batting average. Next man aboard. And Goody lines one. Left center field. This one, it is gone. Two run blast for Franklin Gutierrez, his ninth home run of the year. And the Mariners have their first lead, 2-1. to one. Three hundred eighty-six feet on this one. Now look at it. it looked to be a fastball. You got enough carry on this one. To belt it out. And I'm like, boom, there goes the dynamite. Even though it was way late, I'll take it. <laughs> Clevenger, next man up. Had a home run yesterday. Ground ball to short. Two down. Padres sixth worst in the majors and home runs. They have their 24th. Smith next man up. 84th home run for the Mariners. Smith ground ball foul to right. Nacio has their first lead. 0-1 upcoming. Fastball up high fouled. Gutierrez with his 21st RBI. Change up fouled away. Two and one, or 0 and two rather, broken bat, and this one right to Kashner. Fires it, and he is out. Go to the third. Mariners have regained the lead, two to one. Taking the lead, I meant, as we go to the third. Derek Norris leading off top of the third against Felix Hernandez. 
Fastball will start for a ball. 1 0. Good sweeping curve. Strike one. They're trying to win back to back games to get a quick two game sweep here at home as this one's popped right field. Gutierrez makes the catch. One out. Next man up, Melvin Upton Jr. Had a home run yesterday. He's had more home runs on the road than he has at home at Petco Park. 0-1. Slider outside for Hernandez. 1-1. Change up outside. 2-1 and one outside with one down. Up in the 2-1. Ground ball, Lind. Two down. Up next for the John Jay struck out in the first. Two down in the inning. Good sinker for strike one. The 0-1 pitch. Fastball strike two. Felix Hernandez now starting to find the rhythm. Yo two. Ground ball Cano. Backhands it and fires it to Lynn. And now we'll do it. One, two, three for Felix Hernandez. We go to the bottom of the third. 2 1 Seattle with the lead. Tell Marte leading off. Day off yesterday playing in the game today. He went two for five in his last outing in extra innings. And had his first home run of the year. That was back on Twitch. On one. Outside for a ball one. One and one for Marte. This is chopped and playable. And that ball throw over the head and now be out of play. Marte will advance to second. Another error on the Padres. And that will be on Spangenberg for throwing that ball too high up. Didn't need to force it. Martin is 0 for 1 today. As he popped out last time, changed up for ball one. Marte is second, 1 0 from Kashner. Late swing, 1 1. One one, up the middle, base hit. Marte will come around home. The throw at the plate is not in time. RBI single for Martin. Mariners increased their lead three to one. Seven game hitting streak for Martin. Kyle Seager 0 for one. As that one snuck through the gap, nobody out. Pop up for Kyle Seeger, Sarlarte coming in. And makes the first out. Back to back. Run score for the Mariners in the second and third innings now. Yeah, that ball just tipped on the edge of the bat and didn't have enough. Kashner now facing Nelson Cruz. Got a ground out last time. He'll take ball one. Swing and a miss, Crew. Stolen base, though, for Martin. His 10th of the year, team leading. No slide step motion for Kashner. Throw from Noah's way late. Now it's a strike, nonetheless, for Cruz. One and one. Change up, strike two. One out. The 1-2. Crew.
Cruz launches one. Left field. Will it stay fair? You betcha. In the second deck. Two RBI and a home run for Nelson Cruz. Mariners increase their lead 5-1. to one. My word. Nelson Cruz with the boomstick. Team leading 17th home run. RBI total now up to 35. And he launched it in the left. With that much power, he'll take that. Cashner gives up a home run. You see his reaction. Not happy about that. Three runs in the third. Adam Lind, the next man up. And he fouls this one away with one down, bottom of the third. Got a double in the second. The 0 1. Outside changeup. One ball, one strike. 1 1. Fastball nearly hit Lind on that one. Two balls and one strike. 2 1 with one down. Lind ground ball. Two down. The batter, second baseman, Robinson. Cano today struck out in the second. Man trying to end May on a high note on franchise mode. Outside for a ball one. One zero. -oh. Change up, swung and wrist a little early for Cano. One and one. 81 on that pitch. The 1 1. Cano, right center field through the gap. That will stay in for a base hit. And Cano is first hit of the game on a 1 1 pitch with a two out. Play for the Mariners. Gutierrez had a two run bomb in the second. And can add, and can add the scoring punch in. Slider swung and missed. Strike one. Okay, now at first. Gutierrez, the 0-1. Swing and a miss. Strike two. 96 has some heat on that pitch. Gutierrez, the 0-2. Pitch outside. One ball and two strikes. Here's rocking there. Retro pilot uniforms. Two and two. Two and two for Gutierrez. Ball got away. Gutierrez coming around for first. Can he get there? Yes, he will with plenty of time. Cano will head to second. So a strikeout. It's still two outs. Wild throw. As Clevenger 0 for 1 grounded out in the second. He had a three run bomb, I believe, in the last game. And Clevenger pops one up, and this one will do it for the inning. John Jay makes the third out. Mariners leave two men on base, but Nelson Cruz with the boomstick to put the Mariners for the 5 1 lead. We go to the fourth. Will Myers 0 for 1 today, flat out in the first. Now keep in mind for tomorrow's game. Game be under NL rules, so pitchers will be batting. Shane Felix Hernandez won't get the call for that because he did pretty well in his last interleague game going 2 for 4 at bat. Myers a 2 0. Swing and a miss. The 2 1. 3-1, Brett Wallace on deck. 3-1. Ball four, Felix Hernandez gives up a walk. Myers at first. Brett Wallace, 0 for 1 today. Up next for the Padres. The designated hitter, Brett Wallace. On one outside for Hernandez. 38 pitches in the game. The is 47. Fastball on the line for strike one. 
One and one. Sweeping Kerr fouled away. One and two. One, two, pitch. Strike three, caught looking. Nicely done by Hernandez, gets a big time out. Matt Kemp today is 0 for 1. Fastball caught the line, ruled ball. See, I was trying to win back to back and try to get a clean sweep. You're at the home stand in Safeco Field before they head out against the Padres. 2 0. Fouled away the left field. Two one for Kemp. Change up fouled away. One out. Two two now. Two two for Matt Kemp. Fouled back again. Two two. Long shot left field base hit. Myers coming around for three. Martin finally gets it and will throw to home. Won't be in time. It is now a five two Mariners lead as an RBI double for Matt Kemp. Came in with that slider. Middle of the plate, and that one got enough barrel to hook it in the left center for an RBI double, ninth of the year. Salarte, next man up with a 5 2 Mariners lead. Strike one. One one. This one a base hit. This will get through the gap. Long throw will not be in time at home. Runner will try to advance, and he will. Or double. It's now a five three Mariners lead. Now Starlarte will score. Or excuse me, we'll get the RBI double. Ramirez 0 for one. Yeah, that was Solarte. His 18th RBI of the year. Swing and a miss. Strike one with one out. Padres are now trying to make a comeback and try to make an unanswered run of their own like they did yesterday. Fouled away. Yo two. Fastball fouled away. Yo two for Ramirez. Oh no, he got hit on the head. Ramirez did not like that, but he will advance to first base, two man on. The locations for the Mariners in the last few weeks have not been great. That one could have been bad. Fernandez, Fernandez is a great player. He does not hit batters very often. 1-1. One, one. Fouled away. It's been a long inning for Hernandez. Two more runs scored. This one will get in for an out. Gutierrez making the catch. Two down. Derek Norris 0 for 1 today. Flight out in the third. Good sinker for strike one. 0 1. Strike two. Caught the line just a hair bit. Enough to give him a strike. The 0 2. Popped up. Coming in right center field is Martin. And this one will do it as he hauls in the third out. Padres trimmed the Mariners lead five to three to the fourth bottom of the fourth we go Welcome back Seth Smith leading off grounded out in the second bottom four we go Kashner 
He's going to five earned in this ball game. And five hits overall. Padres, one error, three hits on three runs. 1-0. Slider fouled away. That looked like to be a breaking ball almost. Just hooked it outside and came back in. 1-1. One, one. Outside for a ball, two. Two and one for Smith. And Smith the ground ball up to second. And the throw to Myers, one out. The batter number four, shortstop. Patel Marte 0 for 1 today. Reached on an error last time out. Fouled away. Yo, one. Marte, good contact on this one. It's going to be blooped into center field. And Upton makes the catch coming in. Two down. Martin with an RBI single. One for two. His 13th of the year. Single back in third. Martin fouled in the right. The 0 1. Ground ball again to the right, fouled away. Came out with that slider. I thought I was going to stay in the zone, but it was out. The 0 2 now with two down. And struck him out. Martin swung, hesitated a little bit, and then gets called strike three. We go to the fifth, 5 3 Mariners lead. Melvin Upton Jr. leading off today 0 for 1. Leading off for San Diego. Top of the fifth Center. inning. Number two, Melvin Upton Jr. I'm sure for Hernandez at this rate, no more than three earned, we should be fine. Just try to get more Ks. He hasn't gotten a lot, though. I feel. Upton with the 1-1. One, one. Nope. Outside. 2-1 two, one. Two, one pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Two and two. 2-2 two, two for Upton. Wow, that would have been a strike three. Instead, that is a ball. John Jay up on deck. And now the 3-2. Ground ball, Cano. One out. Jay O for two today. John Jay. Good fastball for strike one. The 0 1. Fastball foul back 0 and 2. Hernandez at 70 pitches for the game. Strike three called. Clevenger will fire it. Two down. Myers walked last at bat and a run over one in the game. Fastball for ball one. Ground ball up the middle. That is a base hit. Got through the gap to second and short. Brett Wallace 0 for 2 today. Struck out and flight out. Check swing, he went, strike one, two down in the inning. Ground ball, left side, base hit, two man on, inning continues for the Padres. Matt Kent with an RBI double, one for two. Fastball outside for ball one, two man on for San Diego. Mr. Padres looking to regain the lead. Two balls, no Two -oh. Tipped. Kyle Seeger will fire it in time to first. And that will do it for the inning. Bottom half of the fifth for the Mariners next with a 5-3 lead. As San Diego left two men on base. 
Kyle Seeger leading off, 0 for 2. Kevin Quackenbush warming up in the bullpen. And Seeger, a long shot to left. This is fouled. Yo, one. And Seeger got hit. So both pitchers have thrown a hit by a pitch to each end of the batters. Felix had one last at bat or last pitching out. Cashner to Seeger this time. Yeah, nothing malicious, probably losing control of the grip. Nelson Cruz is one for two. The two run bomb back in the third. Or a three run inning. Now it's high for a ball one. Where you hit Seeger though. Cruz is also one of those power hitters that can make it happen. 17 home runs for Nelson Cruz, 35 RBIs. 2 0 for Nelly Cruz. Lynn will follow Cruz with nobody out. 2-0. Fouled away on the fastball. Two one. Change up fouled away. Two and two for Nelson Cruz. Full count. Adam Lind on deck waiting. Three two pitch. Ball four. Two man on. Seeger at second, Cruz at first. Adam Lynn one for two. Doubled in a run. Nobody out. Kashner. The ball outside. Ninety five on that pitch. 31 RBIs for Adam Lind. Ball on the outside. Two and zero for Adam Lind. Fastball fouled away. Two and one for Adam Lind. Lynn, long shot, right field. This is playable. Kemp will make the out. Runners will stay back. One down. The batter, second baseman, Robinson Cano. Robinson Cano, one for two today. Singled in the third. All one underneath. One to no. As Cash are trying to get out of a mini jam here. Single back in the third did Cano. Struck out in the second. Cano! Nice catch. Six. Or excuse me. Four, six, three. Double play in time. Spangleberg, Ramirez, and Myers. And I will be right back. Because I need to see what my family needs. Five to three lead. Seattle. Salarte leading off as we saw his home run earlier and I will take a break guys. I will be right back in just one minute.
All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Yeah, let's be resuming play. Top of the six, five three, Mariners lead. And so Larte takes strike one. Felix Fernandez looking to go for a good six innings strong here. Popped up, right field. Gutierrez is back. One down. Lexi Ramirez hit by a pitch in the fourth from Hernandez. Again, nothing intentional. I think both pitchers are losing their grips just a little bit. And that's up the middle for a base hit. I guess that's a bit of revenge for him not getting a hit in the last time out. Spangenberg 0 for 2 lined out in the fourth with one out. The 0-1, swing and a miss outside, strike two on the slider. Hernandez, the 0-2. This is playable. Nope, foul. Didn't stay fair in the line. The 0-2. This one blooping in the right, that will stay in for a base hit. Runners will hold on first and third. Spangenberg gets his first hit, a single. Derek Norris, two flyouts, 0 for 2 in the game. Strike one. The 0 1. This one is fouled, 0 2. The 0 2 pitch. Outside for a ball. 88 pitches for Felix Hernandez in the game. One out, one two pitch. Two and two outside. Two two for Norris. And he got him out. Two down. Center fielder, number two. Melvin Dupton Jr. today is 0 for 2 and two ground outs. Outside for a ball one. One zero. In for strike one. Sorry about the vibration, guys. Notifications. Two down. One two uh, with a one one pitch. Two and one. Mike Krasemba, you probably remember him on YouTube, doing what if videos, and that will get an RBI on the board. It is now. A 5-4 Mariners lead, just like that. Padres aren't going down easily. Melvin Upton Jr. with a hit. An RBI single. John Jay next stop. Who is 0 for 3. All the momentum Mariners have had now. Starting to slip away. Two down. 1-0. This one's pop up all the way to right center. And Martin hauls in the third out. Another run scored for the Padres. We go to the bottom of the sixth with a 5-4 Mariners lead. Your attention, please. Kevin Quackenberg breaking his 29th appearance relieving. Number Doing good against both lefties and righties. 3.45 ERA. And Gutierrez who will be leading off one for two. Two run bomb back in the second. Carlos Willavaneva warming up in the bullpen. Tim Mutsukum warming up. Joel Peralta warming up as well. And it's clinging to a one run lead yet again. Salarte one out. Nice catch by Myers at first. Clevenger 0 for 2 today. One out. Ground ball foul to right. Swing and a miss. Strike two. The 
the O2 and struck him out outside. And they're trying to be a little too aggressive with the bats. Two quick out. Smith is 0 for 2 today. Two down. Outside for ball one. Nobody on base for the Mariners. Two down. Smith needs a home run and get to career number 100. It's going to be a tall task of an order. Ground ball to Myers. And this one will be a 1-2-3 inning for Krakenbush. We go to the seventh inning stretch here in Seattle. With Seattle clinging to a 1-1 lead. 5-4. Game summary through the first six innings as we welcome you back. I'm SLP for Mariners Franchise Baseball. Six innings for Hernandez. Four earned, four Ks, eight hits allowed. Nelson Cruz one for two with a home run, a walk, and a run. Salarte two for three. A home run and two RBIs and a run. Will Myers leading off who was one for two. And Lincecum entering into the game. His second appearance, 1-0 and record. ERA pretty clean, not doing good against right-handed batters. Seen that yesterday. Slider to start for ball one for Lincecum. As you remember, the closers aren't quite ready to be returning yet to the game. Seeger, the ground ball right to Lind. 5-3, ground out, one away. Brett Wallace one for three today. Lincecum had a long shift in extra innings yesterday night. Swing and a miss, strike one. Yo one. Slider caught the line, ruled ball. The one one. This one long shot, right center, that's a base hit. Coming off the wall, Martin will fire it all the way down for two. Marte will keep the runner there. Nice double for the Padres and Brett Wallace. Now batting, right fielder, Matt Kemp. Matt Kemp next up. Double number eight for Wallace with one down. All one, no play. All one. For Kemp, the 1-0. Popped in the right field foul. One and one. One one. Outside. Two one pitch. Breaking ball in for strike two. And a two two with one down. Strike three. Two down in the seventh. Now, Jervis Solarte, two for three game, a home run and a single. Next man aboard with two down. Outside for a ball one. One and oh. Breaking ball right around Seeger for a base hit. Runners on first and third. What a throw by Smith. But the runner stays aboard. Mariners weren't aware of that. And Solarte will head for a double. Ramirez is one for two. Corey Spangleberg will follow him. Mariners will not intentionally walk Ramirez. Mariners need to get an out of some kind just to end the inning. Yo one. That should have been a strike. Rule the ball. Look at that. One ball, one strike. Two and one. Two one pitch. And Ramirez gets hit. Now will move the runner. Second time Mariners hit by pitch against the Padres. Back at the left elbow for Lincecum. Base is loaded now, two down. Corey Sprangenberg with two down can give the Padres a lead if they can get two men to score. As it is Salarte, the leading run. 
1-0 pitch. 2-0. 2-0 from Lipsicum. That's in for strike one. Two one, breaking ball foul. Two and two. Two two, breaking ball that will get an RBI. Possibly two. One will score. The throw at home is not in time. Padres lead. Spangenberg with a two RBI single and the Padres lead six to five. Great contact on the bat and got enough to get it down. Derek Norris 0 for 3. Mariners down with two outs again. Cannot close the deal. Peralta is going to be forced to come into the game. 12th appearance. 1.50 ERA. Strike one. Splitter and curveball in the arsenal. Old Wonder Field, Martin. Makes the third out and the inning will come to an end. Mariners, two runs given up in the top of the seventh. Mariners can regain the lead. 6-5 Padres. Leading off, Cattell Marte is over 2. Nick Vincent in the bullpen warming up. Evan Scribner warming up in the bullpen. You remember Joaquin Benoit and C. Shevchak are not going to be eligible to play. Well, not eligible. They ain't going to be playing. Fatigue is one as Marte grounds out one down in the seventh. Martin with a one for three game, an RBI single. One out. Outside for a ball one. One and oh. With one down for Martin. Ground ball to right. Nice catch. Spengenberg in time. Two down. Third baseman number 15. Kyle Seeger hit by a pitch in the fifth. 0 for 2 in the game today. It's been grounded out and popped out in this one. Breaking ball strike one. Four seamer curveball and change up in the arsenal. The 0 1. Fastball up high for a ball. One ball, one strike. One and one. Breaking ball fouled. Seager had no choice but to foul that one off. The one two. Two and two outside. Two two. Seeger, right center field base hit. This one will get through the gap for extra bases. Kyle Seeger coming around for two, and he will stay standing. Huge two out RBI or two out double for Kyle Seeger is 15th of the year. Nelson Cruz can tie the game. He's at the plate. And a two run home run back in the third. Walked in the fifth. Seeger will get a run. No, he won't run. I was going to say. I <laughs> got a little ahead of myself. Fouled off of Cruz. As that one looked like it was going to go out of the park. Two outs. The 0 1. Breaking ball. Ground ball to third. Long throw to first. Myers makes the catch. Now will do it for the inning. Quackenbush does his work in the seventh. We go to the eighth. Mariners leave one man on base. 6 5 San Diego. Melvin Upton Jr. today is one for three with an RBI single. Peralta continuing to pitch here in the game. Strike one. Outside for a ball one. One and one to count for Upton Jr. Outside. Two and one. Fouled away. Two 
two and two. Swing and a miss. Upton goes down swinging. One out in the eighth. Look at the start comparison. Felix and Innes under quality start somewhat. Four earned, eight hits, four Ks, one walk, six innings pitched. Castro not as bad as Hernandez, giving up five earned. John Jay 0 for 4 in the game. Kuma will get the call against the Padres tomorrow afternoon. On one. On two, fouled. Brought to the 0 2. Breaking ball outside. One two pitch. Long shot right fouled. One and two. Tip playable. Fire to first in time. No, he is safe. Mariners, Lance Nelson coming out to protest. Mariners in franchise mode are three and one in extra calls at this rate in the game. And we are in the seventh inning as well. Good throw by Clevenger. The catch. That's a tough call to make. Mariners are going to challenge this. They're three and one as I said in challenges that I've played here on the franchise and they're going to go for it. So the umpires will review it and try to overturn this call to be an out. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mariners are challenging the previous play. So let's see, it's the catch in time. There's the catch. That is a tough call to make from that angle. So let's see what the umpires decide to do. And they overturn and out. What a play by Nelson to overturn the call. 4-1-1 in challenges now for the Mariners. Uh, that is the second out. And on base next is Will Myers. Outside for ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Splitter outside. 77 on that delivery. 2-0. Swing and a miss, 79. Two and one. Two one. Two and two, fouled away. Myers the two two with two outs. He struck him out. Clevenger will throw to Lind and that'll do it. On to the bottom of the seventh inning. Or to the eighth inning, excuse me. 6 5 Seattle deficit. Nick Vincent, his 20th appearance, 0 and 2 record, 2 saves, 3.07 ERA. Adam Lynn leading off, 1 for 3. Fernando Rodney in the bullpen, warming up the former closer for the Mariners. And a fastball foul to start for Adam Lynn. 16 home runs, 31 RBIs. One one. Slider outside. I know pitchers tend to paint the corners a lot efficiently than the American League pitchers. Slider outside. Two balls and one strike for Adam Lind. Cano follows him, and then Gutierrez. Vincent, the 2-1. Long shot, left field. This one has some carry, and this one is gone. Solo home run for Adam Lynn. We are tied at a half a dozen. Six all, and Lynn with his 17th home run, his 32nd run batted in, the team leader in home runs again for Adam Lynn. As Lynn, once again, the left field got it out. 377 feet. Can't tell if that was a, a two-seamer or not. That was a four-seamer. And this one had enough barrel on the bat to launch out to left. Over the head of Jay in left field. 
Cano can give the Mariners the lead. Tie game at six. Two seamer for ball one to start. Nobody out. Mariners first run since the third inning. First run of the score, I should say, since then. No, now with a 2-0 favor. Three and zero. Gutierrez on deck. Home runs. Mariners with three. One for the Padres. Now the three zero for Cano. Cano long the left. That's fouled. Right at the Kings Court area. Came with that slider. Three one for Cano. Swing and a miss. Full count. Came in there with that changeup. And now the payoff pitch from Vincent. Popped up. Coming in, Sarlarte. And a much needed out for the Padres. One down. Gutierrez had a two run blast back in the second. Change up outside. Ball one. Vincent the 1-0. One, -oh. one and one. Swing and a miss for Gutierrez. One ball, one strike. Strike two. Back to back sliders. His main pitch. One, two. And got him out. Two down. Clevenger 0 for 3 today. Struck out in the sixth. Give the Mariners the lead with a home run. With two down. Clevenger pops one up right to Spangenberg. Shallow right field makes the catch and the inning is over. We go to the top of the ninth. As Adam Lynn with his 17th home run of the year, Mariners tied up at six. Rhett Wallace with a single and a double today, two for four, leading off, top of the ninth inning. Strike one to start. Yo one, breaking ball on the outside. One and one for Brett Wallace. Strike two. One two pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three called. One down in the ninth. Matt Kemp with an RBI double. One for four in the game today. First pitch. Breaking ball. Strike one. Yo one outside one and one 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 popped up to right field foul territory Lind two down in the, in the ninth Salarte three for four performance with a home run and two singles today two down in the inning. And a fastball strike one. The 0 1. 0 and 2 fouled away. Salarte, the 0 2 pitch. Popped up to center field. Coming in, Martin. And Martin holds the third out. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Mariners can win it. Tie game at six. Fernando Rodney making his 21st appearance, 14 saves this year, 1 and 2 record. Yes, he's looking to keep this game alive. The former Mariner leading off Smith 0 for 3 today, grounded out in the 6th. 
Here's the pitching arsenal for Fernando Rodney. Circle change up for strike one to start. Mariners three and seven in extra innings. Padres three and six. On one. Outside for a ball. Mariners know Fernando Rodney pretty well. One and one. Ground ball foul on the circle change. So one two and a one two count now. Rodney the one two. Strike three, one down in the ninth. Catel Marte, 0 for 3 today. Grounded out in the seventh. Brendan Maurer in the bullpen warming up. Marte is hitless. He hasn't done anything. He did reach on base once. Ground ball. That's a base hit for Catel Marte. His second on base appearance. He reached on an error earlier in the game. Leonis Martin with an RBI single, one for four today, with one out. Main thing here, don't get involved into a double play. Circle change out for ball one. Martin the 1-0. One and one, so we're going to miss. Marte hit first, 1-1. One, one. Fouled away, that was a ball. Padres out hitting the Mariners, 11-8 in the game. 1-2 pitch. This one is a base hit, Marte will hold for one. Runners on first and second, big time hit for Martin. Runners on first and second, Marte at second base. Kyle Seeger one for three with a double in the seventh. Mariners can bring in a pinch runner if they want to. And Calbera is eligible for it. He does have better best, uh, base stealing ability, so we're going to bring in the sub right now. So Everett Calbera will come in to pinch run. Two man on base. Kyle Seeger with one out. Against his fellow teammate Rodney. That's a ground ball. Flip to second in time. And Seeger is out. We will go to the 10th. Tie game at 6. Defensive lineup change as Calbera playing at shortstop. Mark Shea's game, uh, game is ending now. Ramirez is 1 for 2 for the game. Peralta will continue to pitch here in the 10th. As another no decision, Felix Hernandez. This one's popped up. Left field, Kyle Seeger makes the out. One down in the 10th. And believe it or not, this is the fourth consecutive extra innings game for Seattle. Breaking ball, strike one. And what a better way to have it. Trying to finish off the home stand with a quick two game sweep of the Padres. That one is fouled. The 0-2 pitch. This one's blooped in. Lind, two down. Pitch hitting will be Alex Dickerson. Two down in the tenth. Splitter outside for ball one. As Evan Scribner ready to come in, likely for the eleven. Good splitter in for strike one. The one one for Dickerson. Breaking ball outside. Two and one. Two and two fouled away. Dickerson, the 2-2 offering. With two down. Full count. Upton Jr. on deck. Payoff pitch. This one will bloop in for a hit. One man on board. 
And Stegerson gets his first hit of the ball game, pitch hitting. Upton had a home run yesterday, one for four today with an RBI single. This one hit well, left field, coming in. Smith won't get there, that is fouled. Two down, the 0-1. Breaking ball, strike two. Hits the afternoon Padres 12, Mariners 9. And now, can Peralta close it out here? The 0-2 pitch with two outs. He struck him out. 79 on the splitter. We go to the bottom of the 10th. Mariners can win it. Tie game at 6. Your attention, please. Austin Hedges now playing at catcher for the Padres. Leading off, Nelson Cruz had a two-run bomb back in the third. One for three. He walked in the fifth, got on a ground out on the first and seventh innings. Going up against Fernando Rodney. Ball on the outside corner to start. 17 home runs, 35 RBIs. The 1-0. Fastball foul, that was his pitch, right in the middle. Just tipped on the edge of the bat. The 1-1. Popped up, coming in Myers at first. One out in the 10th. Adam Lind, next man aboard for the Mariners, who had a huge eighth inning home run. Two for four for the ball game. Lynn into center field. Base hit through the gap. Lynn botches the catch. Two are going to come around. Lynn will hold it for a second. What a mistake at center field by the Padres. John Jay and Upton Jr. both couldn't get a handle at the ball. And Lynn goes to second. As this one was swung well. Upton couldn't get the ball. Double number 19 for Adam Lynn with one out. And Cano up at bat, who is one for three. Or one for four, excuse me. And Cano will call for time here. Try to regather himself. Lynn at second. The 0 1. 0 and 2. Cano with the 0 2. Strike 3. Tried to take the bunt and didn't do it. 2 down. Gutierrez with a 2 run home run back in the second. Gutierrez, right field, foul, didn't stay fair. Did not stay in the line. Two down. Outside for a ball, one and one. Clevenger follows Gutierrez. 21 RBIs for him this year. A 1-1. One, one. Strike two. Rodney, the 1 2. Got him out, and we will go to the 11th. Game continues. Rodney did his work. In the 10th, to the 11th we go. Tie game at 6. John Jay, 0 for 5 this afternoon. He hasn't done anything. Evan Scribner will come in. Making his 15th appearance. 2-2 two two record. 5.95 ERA. Scribner has had problems this year with his pitching. But he's got to make a count in this game. The 0-1. Breaking ball. Right field. One out. Nice catch by Gutierrez. Will Myers 1-4 for four with a single and a run. Fouled in the right field line. The 0 1. Outside, one ball, one strike. 
One one. Breaking ball, strike two. Got it in the paint. In that zone. The one two. Ground ball, left side. Two down. Nice catch and throw by Calbrera. As Marte's game has come to an end. Brett Wallace, two for five today, single and a double. Two down. Swing and a miss, strike one. The 0 1. Breaking ball, strike two. Two down, the 0 2. Outside for a ball. The 1 2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Call. Wallace goes down. We go to the bottom of the 11th. Tie game at six. Clevenger leading off. Bottom of the 11th. 0 for 4 today. He hasn't done anything but can rectify that with a hit. As Rodney continuing to relieve here in the 11th. And a fastball to start. Fouled. Clevenger had a home run yesterday. Outside for the change up, circle change. One ball, one strike. As Rodney delivers. Long shot, dead center field. Up and back at the warning track, and this one is gone. Solo home run for Steve Clevenger, and that's the ball game. Steve Clevenger walks it off for a solo home run. Mariners win it 7-6. His sixth home run of the season and his 11th run batted in. Yes, he is heading into the Mariner pile. And for the first time all year, Seattle has won back-to-back -back walk-off victories. Mariners now 4-7 and seven in extra innings. This one had a lot of carry. A lot of hang time, dead center for Clevenger to belt it out of the park. On a 1-1 pitch. Upton Jr. had no room to get this ball. This one was out. And Seattle hangs on to win. 7-6 the final score. And who else? But we're going to give this to Adam Lynn. He had a big home run in the 8th, which tied things up. The Mariner leading 17 home runs. This one was hit to left, which tied it up. 3 for 5 game for Adam Lynn and the Mariners sweep a 2 game home stand in Safeco Field. And they've now gone back to back to close out the month of May. And Seattle now this year are 24 and 27. And for the Padres, they now dropped to 23 and 30 this year. They have now lost four in a row. I'm SLP. Thank you for tuning in to some franchise mode. 7-6 Seattle winning over the Padres. And Evan Scribner will get the win, his third of the season. And Fernando Rodney will take the loss his third of the year. Lynn, another three-hit game. Cruz one for four. Clevenger with a game-winning walk-off home run to center field. Going one for five. What a ball game for the Mariners. And I'm happy for those of you who are still tuning into the stream. As there are the end-of-the-month statistics. That unfortunately, I kept on the video for this one. But uh, Mariners win back-to-back -back games in walk-off fashion. Closing out the month of May with a bang. Thank you for those of you tuning in to the afternoon stream. I am SLP. Don't know when I'll do these two games if I'm going to on the road. I'll probably do them. I'll do them tomorrow on Twitch. So stay tuned for that. And then after these two games on Twitch will come, I'm going to sim the Texas series, the Cleveland series, and the Texas series to head back on the road. To play against the tribe. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm SLP. Thank you very much for tuning in to some MLB The Show 16. 
and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.